All right, well, hello and welcome to That's the Point, where we take a look at all things construction positioning technology. My name is Corey Meyer, here with my co-host and eye candy today, Jonathan Stickle. With the introduction, appreciate that. I, I, so, <laughs> I don't want to sell you short. No, you're going to contribute so much to this. So, so I am believing you today, so we've got this, we've got this handled. So today we're going to talk about layout and specifically optical plummets. Um, it's something that we don't often talk about because it's been around for so long. Um, but optical plummets play a key part in kind of the, the accuracy chain that we have on a job site when we're laying out. Yeah, exactly. And um, so real world use, there's really like two ways that um, you can do this. You can set up over a known point or also you can also resect in. Right. And, and resecting is the most common, right? Mm -hmm. You just you set up your tow station pretty much so anywhere where you can see those known points and then you take those measurements. Whereas a known point setup, you set up directly over that control or that known point. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Because yeah. when you're doing a known point setup, you have to obviously know exactly where you are, yeah. right? And so the question is, we're gonna ask is, can you get a warm, fuzzy feeling from your optical plummet? And the answer, of course, as most construction answers are, Yes, yes and no. <laughs> so it's yes complicated, no. Yes right? and no, it's a little complicated, but yes, you can. <laughs> so, right, we could definitely put that relationship to status to complicated because um, I think that there's, there's some certainty that you can get from certain types of optical plummets and other ones you just need to get them checked. So we're gonna start today, there's two main ways that you can have an optical plummet, right? You can have them built into the tool station. Um, so we've got this RTS 573, um, Trimble's RTS 673 also has an optical plummet built in. That's the first variant that we have. And then you have the more traditional optical plummet that's built into the base of any tribe rack, right? So you can get a tribe rack that just has that optical plummet just built right into it. And these are the two vari variations of the optical plummet that we're gonna talk about today. But we're gonna start with the instrument because that's actually a lot easier. Yeah, so you'll use this and you'll set up with the tripod over your known point. Right, so yep, you come out your first shot of the day, so you're gonna come out, and if you wanna do a known point setup, you're gonna set up that tripod, and then you look through this plummet, right, you're gonna go straight down and make sure that you're lined up over that target that you wanna be over. Okay, and it has um, a display feature on it to where you can really kind of dial it in to make sure that you're... Right, um, so as you're, so whenever you would do a known point setup, that's exactly right. You wanna use this phase two display. We can use the electronic bubble then that's within the RTS series to then keep leveling out the legs, keep zooming in, gaining resolution on that level to make sure that you've got it absolutely as dialed in as you can level-wise to make sure that that total station is all set up. Okay. And is then there we do the check. The check, yeah. And uh, walk through the, the check process, because that's... I'm all sure right, so I hope everybody's got their notepads out, because then okay. what you do is once you verify that you're still over that point, mm -hmm. you're going to turn it 180, and you're going to look at that same point. That's all. And that's it. So. That's as simple as you can get. <laughs> so, right. And what you're doing with that 180 check is then you're making sure that that, is, that point is still exactly in the center of the plummet reticle because then that means that you are completely set up. All right. So then there's the question. What if you flip it the 180 and the point isn't there? Right. And as you can see on screen right now, that is that does happen, right? That does occur. All that means is that your optical plummet needs to be calibrated. If you've used the electronic bubble in the RTS, you're completely dialed in level-wise, then you know that your optic needs to be adjusted. And we can, we can assist with that here at our service center. The easiest answer is the building point service center, right? Like you can come in here um, and we can easily recalibrate that. We're not gonna say there isn't YouTube universe. It is adjustment with just the set screws and what you're doing is you're actually manually adjusting that reticle in the optical plummet. Um, the big caution that we have there is you can push it too far. And, and then when you're just doing, you're just making you the problem a new worse. Problem. Yeah. Right. yeah, you create a new problem because now you have an imaginary reticle. You you'll, don't have one you can actually see. You'll be reaching out to us anyways <laughs> so, for not exactly. the So that's actually the simple one. All right. And nope. there's the optical plummet just on the tri -brack. Right, there. and so yeah. this one's a little bit more challenging because this one is one where we actually maintain that, that the maintenance schedule of getting your optical plummet checked in this type of tri rack is so much more important because mm -hmm. if you think about it, we need to do that 180 degree turn to make sure that we don't have any variation in the setup and so or in the calibration. So how are we gonna turn that around and set that on a tripod that's already level, right? Yeah. You've gotta take a step there and you'll see online, you'll see that same YouTube university, you can find out ways, you know, maybe guys put masking tape on the table of their tripod, they set it there and they do their best to mark it, maybe even score it, right? You could score the table of your tripod, the aluminum with it, if you really wanted to, to try to get precise. 
But we're talking about such tight tolerances here. Yeah, you're, not, yeah, you're not leaving yourself too much room for any type of error. Right. I mean, we're talking about a sixteenth of an inch that can make a huge difference in your, in your accuracy chain. And so we want to make sure that that's as precise as possible. When we take it into a service center, we actually invert it. And so by inverting it, then we can spin it easily and we're shooting up to the ceiling to a known point so we can easily calibrate the optical plummet that way. But there is no real like quick way to check these. Mm -hmm. You just need to make sure it's in your normal maintenance regimen. We didn't want to let your, op your confidence plummet on this, so. I like how you worked that way. Yeah, it, wasn't, it wasn't as good. It was better in my mind than when it came out on <laughs> camera, so. As always, ensure that you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the latest episodes that dive into the latest tips, tricks, and pointers to get the most out of your Trimble gear. Jonathan, we did it. Thanks Another for the... episode down. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on That's the Point.